So tags in Go High Level. Tags are very versatile. I see people use them a number of different ways. Um, one way, and I created an example for this, is if you were to attach a tag to a contact, you can just hover over their opportunity. This is a, a contact card or a, an opportunity card, technically by Go High Level language. This is an opportunity. But if we were to hover over this opportunity under the tag section, people will use tags to leave themselves little notes, like call back Saturday at 2 p.m., right? That's that's a tag, or opt-in. That's how I like to use tags. I Let me click this so this makes more sense. I like to use uh, tags by what stage the leads are in, right? And I use these tags to move, peop to move leads around the pipeline, um, and this will make more sense in the automations, but... Um, you can use a tag to do things, or you can use a tag to leave little notes to yourself. I personally recommend against using tags for notes. I would use the notes for notes, and I would use uh, the tags for basically um, to identify a lead by a tag, if you will. And this is totally fine. You're not gonna like mess up your go high level. You can do this. I just don't like having two million tags on there. Um, it it just gets to be hectic and my brain doesn't like it. But how do we create tags? Well, there are two ways to do this. You could either, when you're adding a tag, if something isn't created already, so let's say we want to add the appointment book tag, we could actually add the tag and then if it doesn't, if it doesn't already exist, we can just add it in here and now it does. Or we can go into settings and we can scroll down and hit tags and then we can add tags here. And this is also obviously where we would delete tags, right? So if we want to delete a tag, um, we can delete it here, right? Or we can add in a new tag, just a moment, okay? Or we can add in a new tag right here. cancellation okay cool so that's how we add and move tags now I said earlier that we can use them for functional reasons like automations and we'll dive more into this in the automations but um, let's talk specifically about how tags are used so you can use tags as a trigger which means you can, we can also filter this. Let's say uh, we'll do a appointment book tag is added, right? And now we'll do, actually, I don't like that. Even though this is an example, bad practices still bother me. Uh, let's do, really don't have a good tag for this, do we? We show up. Cool. So we can call this show up. Now, let's stay, I won't get distracted, let's stay on topic with the tags, right? So, if a contact receives the tag, and the tag is, or the, a, a tag is added, and that tag is show up, then this workflow will will tr will go off, it, it will trigger, it will start to happen, right? So that's how adding a tag can trigger a workflow. Something else you can do with tags is you can actually add them automatically within a workflow. So let's add a new tag here. Let's call it, I don't know, something doesn't matter. So we can add a tag. So if a lead, let's actually do this. Let's say a lead filled out a form, right? So let's say we had a form inside of a funnel. Okay, that's this is just an example. And we want to add, a, let's say we want to add an opt-in tag, right? Opt-in tag, we could save it here. And now every time a lead fills out the form, a tag is automatically added to them that they opted in or whatever your specific use case is. But this is how you can use tags in automations, right? If a tag gets added, to summarize, if a tag gets added, it can trigger a workflow, or we can add tags automatically within a workflow. 